sword out, all you need to do, just shake the, the Wii remote. Gotcha. It's pretty. Yeah, it looks looks yeah. really good. It's actually the, the development team has been focused on new gameplay mechanics. Uh -huh. They've just started work with the graphics. So what you're seeing here is, is what they're going to be building upon. And uh, the end result they're looking for is to have kind of like a like a painting that's come to life. So we can expect to see the graphics get better then? Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm just, I'm just digging the color palette itself, yeah, you know what I mean? It is, it's really nice. I like that kind of watercolor look to it. Oh, you want some of this? Ha-ha! Are they planning for all the mobs to be a directional hit? Or will there some, be some mobs that it doesn't matter how you hit them? Yeah, there, there are some mobs here that we have in the demo. Uh, it doesn't matter how you're coming at them, just take them out. Uh, but, you know, you're going to be coming across like these Deku Babas. Obviously, you know, you're going to need to figure out how to deal with them. Very specific slices and attacks. What, what, can, the, what can the player expect to see uh, throughout the game that uh, basically brings Zelda back home, basically? Any, any old things that we can see in the new? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean... You know, obviously, you're going to have all of the Zelda classics. You're going to be having the dungeons, the puzzles, the overworld, the exploration. It is all going to be there. And they are also working on new gameplay mechanics for it as, that, you know, that hasn't been seen before either. So can you describe these gameplay mechanics? What we're showing in the demo is the one-to-one uh, -one motion that you have with the Wii Motion Plus. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have more information released at a later time. Okay. When can we expect to, to hear about that information? Is that a later time? Are we thinking maybe like a few months? What are, what are we looking? You know, I, I could stand here and, and guess along with you, but I don't want to give you, you know, inaccurate information. No so, problem. you know, who knows? I know we'll be hearing more for sure. Yeah, so what you need to do is you're actually going to need to get your shield brought up. And you're going to need to shield bash those rocks right back at him. There it is. Yeah. yeah they're going to be hidden for you until you get far away. Keep exploring, you want to check out one of our boss fights. I want to go. We got a bit. All right, why don't you go back through that door that you came through? Yep. And uh, so, real quick, what we'll also do, because you're getting low on health here, why don't you go ahead and hit the minus button? It's going to bring up your bottles. We have them filled. Yep, there we go. And uh, once you hit the plus button, that'll get up to our, our uh, main map. Thank you. There it is. If you hit the plus button there, for me, it'll bring up the map. And then we got X marks the spots, so which can be showing us where the boss is going to be at. So that's where we want to head. Yeah. Immediate left. You're going by up so you need to go fast. And you got those rocks to deal with. Yep. So why don't you go ahead and actually back up a little a little ways from it? Okay. Turn around and let's bring up your item list. So we'll hold down B. Got B, so it's gonna be the trigger finger on the Wii remote. You got your bombs over here. You've got three messages of delivery. You can just drop it, you can throw it, you can even roll them if you want. Yeah, I was watching them at, yeah. the, at, the, at the press conference yesterday. I was like, pumped up and try to play this game. Another one of the things that I, I actually really enjoy about this uh. is the fact that when you grab the bottles, when you're going into your items, it's not pausing the game. You're not losing that immersion in gameplay. You know, it's, it's keeping real time with it. And uh, I, I really like that.
probably help out if you Z target him. Then you'd be able to strafe around. Oh, there you go. Yeah, to get that shield up, you want to pop up that nunchuck. There, there it is. All right, round two, round two. One of the things that'll help too oh, yeah. is when you see him swinging at you, you can okay, shield dash. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, we have a few more minutes and uh, she has to go. Okay. Look at this Mr. Confidence over here. Only gonna need a few more minutes. There you go. Wow. And when you got him locked on with your Z, holding down Z, you're gonna be able to you actually even sidestep, do backflips away to dodge his attacks as well. Grab a potion. Grab one of those hearts. How's your control feeling? It feels good. Real nice and fluid. Yeah. Yeah. That was my question as well, Leland. Uh, how is the uh, controls on the uh, sword there? It's actually very smooth. So like every time I want to swing some, it swings it how I want to swing it. As you can tell. I probably don't need to be doing it this hard. I just get into my gaming. <laughs> and I'm just not used to raising my shield quick, which is why I got hit so much. You know what I mean? But I, the quick flick action with the shield. He always says this when he loses. So the excuses just start piling up. Yeah, right? yeah, they, they sure do. <laughs> a little stiff, low blood sugar. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You at Mortal Kombat. Maybe you have your other shoes. <laughs> I'll do a grip. Huh. You already got it tagged to the B, so just tap the B button. It's going to bring up the beetle. Oh, hold down B. So choose beetle over on the left there. Now this guy, you can, you'll be able to launch with A, and you're going to control him just with the Wii motion. They can angle him. So with this, you can explore the area. You can actually even pick up items that Link can't reach. And uh, you know, if you run across something like a, like a bomb flower or a larger item, the beetle will automatically pick it up and you can even drop it on the enemies if you okay. want. Cool. Is there a limit to the amount of times that you can use the beetle? For our demo? No, it'll keep resetting itself. It's okay. timed. Oh, got it. And, okay. uh, yeah, and it'll automatically return after a set amount of time or if you fly it into a wall enemy, something like so, that, and reset. Exactly. I'm assuming the set amount of time it hasn't been decided yet. Correct. Okay. And then just gain a shoot and fire that. Now you can also be moving around at the same time. So you don't have to stay static. The same holds true with the bow as well. If you want to try that out. Excuse me. I have uh, one question. Yeah. The oh, I got the mic. <laughs> um, the uh, the link that's in this game is it going to be or is he the same link as the other games or is it a different? You know, what, I don't have any information as far as like where it is in the timeline. Okay. The information on the characters yet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing it though. Yeah. I, I am too. Did you see that? I just both the heck out of the. 